Well, baby, I'm on it with a bottle of wine and an old jerk road. Are you ready to go if you want to? Hey, thanks for joining us. Oklahoma's best podcast segment today. We are with Brooke, and she is with Booker's Bar in Tulsa. How are you doing, Brooke? I'm great. Yeah, the bar's actually in Broken Arrow. Uh, I just live in Tulsa. <laughs> Well, I messed that one up. All right, That's Booker's okay. Bar in, okay. in Broken Arrow. Not not far, not far. Very good. Brooke, thanks for joining us. Give us a little background on you. Where'd you grow up? Talk a little bit about your family and your career. Um, well, I grew up in Las Vegas, and then I moved to Atlanta when I was 14. I graduated from there. I moved to Tulsa about nine years ago to help my mom take care of my little brother. So I have partial custody of him. And... Uh, just moved on up into the ladder of the scale, and now I'm the new manager of our bar. We have about 13 in total with my company, and I got one of my own. Very cool, very cool. What talk about your companies real quick? I'm curious. Um, so the company it's it's called the Mob. It's Merchants of Booze. Okay. We have about 12 bars total, and we just bought a restaurant. Um, so we're constantly growing, and we're constantly adding into Tulsa and. Uh, our restaurant's now in Claremore, so we're a little bit everywhere, wherever you, you know, find us anywhere, pretty much. Um, I've been with the company for about seven years. So, yeah, that's about Very it. Very cool. All right. Yeah. Very good. Let's jump into Booker's. Um, people yeah. always have three questions when we're <clears throat> doing a podcast and they're talking about a venue. We want to know what it looks like, what it smells like, meaning foods and it, things in the air, and, and what does it sound like, meaning atmosphere, music, environment, et cetera. So let's go back to the beginning. When you walk in the door, what are you going to see? Uh, when you walk into the door, you're going to see a beautiful wood bar top, uh, ni nice like uh, resident upholstery bar top. Uh, it's just a very clean smell. I mean, we opened about a month and a half ago, so non-smoking. Uh, it's a very like classy, classical vibe, but I like to call it like it's like bougie, but we're pocket friendly. You know, yeah. you, you get that you get that feel of like you're worth a million bucks, but you're not spending a million bucks in your pocket. Right. Uh, we go for more like a, our, like we we're starting jazz nights once a month now. Uh, we do live music every Friday, uh, so it's just a really like acoustic not like band we do a lot of acoustics so it's a very somber very chill laid back type of vibe very cool very cool okay let's talk about let's talk about dining you guys offer food you guys offer have bar food pub food what do you have so so we don't have a kitchen personally but we are surrounded by many different restaurants and we have worked out um deals with them where they'll uh, they'll deliver the food to us uh certain days me and my staff will like bring in food you know, it's been getting cold. So last Sunday we did like uh, last Saturday, Sunday, we did a baked potato soup. The The weekend before that, we brought in like meatball sliders. Um, this Wednesday we have a wine event. So I, I ordered a charcuterie board, you know. Yeah, you got to call it a charcuterie, not, not a charcuterie, you know. It's got to be a charcuterie <laughs> board. You got to play on it. You got to make fun with it. So we, we tend to we tend to supply um, or bring in snacks. We do highly recommend if you want to sit and hang out, you know, order yourself something, bring it in. Uh, we are dog friendly as well. So everyone that has those little pups, you know, you can come hang out. I love my fur friends. Yeah. I love my fur friends. Perfect. Okay. Talk about your passion for this industry. Obviously, this is not your only bar. This is not your only venue. Why? Why this industry? Uh Man, I ask myself that sometimes too. I just love what I do. Like I, I love getting creative with my drinks. I love helping people find what they like. I like meeting new people all the time. I like engaging with with guests. I just, I just love it, man. I just oh. always have, just always have. I've been, I've been doing it for twelve years now. So, you think if I was tired of it, I'd be tired of it. But I just right. I keep going back. <laughs> Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, a couple of fun questions. Well, actually, let's 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 clear up the uh, the contact information. People that want to find more information about Booker's Bar, where do they go, or what's your what's your go to social media platform? Um, you can definitely find us on Facebook. Uh, we got that up and running, and got all the kinks fixed in there, and all that good stuff. Uh, still working on fixing everything with the Google. 
Uh, we, we you can put, you can find us on Google, but there are so many Booker's bars that a lot of people seem to uh, once they find Booker's bar, then they look around and then they're like they're looking at a bar that's all the way in Pennsylvania or right. like Illinois. Um, so I just recommend doing definitely on a uh, Facebook. I okay. like to keep everything updated on there. All of our weekly events I always put on there. Um, cocktail menu is on there. Who's working? All that good jazz stuff. Okay. All right. Very good. Very good. Now, a couple of fun questions. You've been in the mm-hmm. business for you've been in the business for twelve years, I believe you said, right? Yeah. And uh, so, I want to know best concert you've ever seen. This is non-bar related. This is anywhere in the world. Best concert you've ever seen. Uh, it would probably be ooh. Uh, I saw a six-hour trilogy Illenium show in Las Vegas two years back, and that was wow. probably one of the most like breathtaking like shows I went to. It was the first uh, show concert whatever ever done at the the new arena, the new uh-huh. uh, Raiders uh, arena. So like it was the first time that anything was ever stepped foot on there. So I think that was all just a really cool, magical thing. And I mean, six hours, he put on a, an amazing show. Yeah, it was, no doubt. It was no incredible. Doubt. All yeah. right. Dead or, dead or alive, you get to see one musical actor, artist. Who would you see, Brooke? Um, Amy Winehouse. I would have loved to have gotten to see her. Amy Winehouse. That would have been perfect. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I agree. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. Very good. Brooke, thank you so much for joining us today. I appreciate your time. And, oh, uh, thank good, you so good, much for good having luck me. In all your business awesome. ventures. Absolutely. Thank you. Yeah, this is. Well, baby, I'm on with a bottle of wine and an old Joe Goldie ready to go if you want to.